hey guys while talking about the modifications to be done in application is like we have to make some changes in our tomcat server or our ansible server so have you noticed one thing like tomcat runs on port 8080 and your jenkins also runs on port 8080 so both the application uses 8080 as a port and there is one more similarity in this application like both the application uses your apache tomcat as your sublet container this is your application even your jenkins will use your apache tomcat as your sublet container and by default they uses port 8080 so there's lot of issues right you cannot make both the application up at the same time using the same port in this situation you'll be having port conflict while when you are trying to start the other application right you will be finding issues like we can't do this there's port conflict some other application is using this port so in this situation what you will do well this issue is completely similar to something like if you imagine you are going to a hotel and you book a reservation to room number 302 now the hotel administration they cannot assign the same room to another guest who is visiting the hotel they can't do it this is a similar way your two application cannot run on the same port ideally it should not run and it cannot run and in organization this is not the best practice to install two application that is based on your you know server based application running on the same port it will create lot of conflicts and there will be a lot of issues in the production and non productions so what i have to do first i have installed jenkins on 8080 and secondly we have installed tomcat so now i will change tomcat port to suppose now it is running on 8080 let's make it 8090 so i will just doing it right now for that you have to go to tomcat server and you have to go to your tomcat directory so it's under cd opt tomcat and there should be one file called conf yes there is some configuration file here this is not file this is folder and inside that there should be one file called server.xml well if you see this file we have entered all those connection and connector details for your tomcat server and see it shows your connector port is 8080 and protocol is http and this is a all setup thing so whatever setup we have done it is all you know it is mentioned here and it defines all the prototypes and everything is defined here engine name is catlina so you, this is the bible you can just find all those things related to your tomcat application and all those variables so once you connect this right i recommend you to go through these files and try to understand what each file is doing now we have connected port 8080 so if you modify this file then your application will change to whatever port number you want to do so it is 8080 now what i will do i will just try to modify this and make it 8090 so wherever 8080 is there i will just make it 8090 but thing is that i won't be changing it 8090 here because there is some shortcut with my video if i press 9 the video will be paused so let me fix this and i will just make it the modifications now here you know there is issue while creating and editing this to 8090 because of my shortcut keys let me change it to 8070 and see if your tomcat will be up these are commented files you don't need to edit it but i will edit it too and this is it if you save this file your changes will be saved and let's try to stop your tomcat server first see the status i think it will be up and running it is up and running your apache tomcat yeah it is up and running let me stop this guy stop yeah so it has been stopped now i try to start it now check the status has it been up or not yeah it shows up and it has used your port 8090 if you go here and refresh it will not load quickly it will take one or two minutes of time to load so bear with me it is saying site cannot be reached because we have to put 8070 what we have configured so 8070 it will take some time to load meanwhile we can just check here actually which port it has used if you do this command right net start minus np and grab the port number grab 
and let's see if there is some process running on it yep can you see this sure your application has already consumed this process if you just try to do which process this is ps minus ef grep grep is to search among the all the running process and 3071 it should tell you which server it is running so you can see this this is tomcat is using this thing right so startup.boot.com start all those things has been used by your tomcat so this port has been used by your tomcat let's try there and refresh this page guys it will take some time you know because once you change modify something and try to restart your tomcat it takes you only you know seven you know two to three minutes it takes change to reflect here on ui so that's okay this will be done parallelly i had paused the video now your tomcat server came up with running port on 8070 it took three minutes to actually start the server now if you check the server status here if you go it will show you 403 access denied and the reason behind is you are not authorized to view this page by default the manager is only accessible for browsing running on the same machine as your tomcat so we have to change context.xml file if you are not using tomcat on the same machine so what you have to do you have to go to tomcat here and i have to actually you know change or comment out something which is there in the context.xml file so for that let's find where context.xml file is there well the command is you can just find it by linux command find slash minus name the name is your context.xml it was not able to find let me do it again find well i feel there is some syntax issue with the command you have to write linux command very appropriately otherwise it will not work yeah this is the command oh my god it showed a lot of things this is not so it went into your directory and found out wherever file context.xml is there it will try to find and fetch so our file is here inside your web apps one and one inside your meta inf and i'm inside this thing so let me go there cd to this path inside your host manager meta inf and we are here this file vi context.xml 